And uh, the first thing that I really want to talk to you about is just, I mean, you guys ended up in the lower portion of the bracket, the loser side of the bracket, pretty early on. Does playing so many games, that grueling schedule, does that affect your performance at all? Well, overall, I think it made our performance better. Uh, we were not actually playing that well when we were in the upper bracket. I think uh, we could have, like, pretty much convincingly maybe won EG with first and third game. Not the second one, I think. second one was a tough one. But actually, we, we screwed up a lot. So we learned a lot from the screw-ups. We had a lot of time to figure things out. Took a game one by one, you know. Uh, none, of the games, none of the games that we played before that were, like, easy. So it was just like winning another grand final, kind of, after winning another grand final. So, yeah, no, it made us a better team. And therefore, we got, I think, further. Well, when you look at the rest of the season, it didn't really seem like you needed to do any learning on the fly. A relatively dominant season. Why do you think when you get here to TI, there, there are some, sh there's some shakiness? Uh, the thing is, it's, it's kind of like a pressure tournament. It's not the same as anything else. Everybody knows everything's about TI and uh, emotions take over. If your emo emotions are very, you know, in a good, in the right place, uh, you will play pretty well. You will know everything that you need to do. And uh, to be fair, uh, it's the international brings out new strategies, like very fast, new pace tr strategies that are just like, or maybe not fast paced, but it depends on the meta, right? And a lot of the times, the pressure is not something that people are used to playing against. And uh, usually it's like, usually it's like uh, the, the players, like in my opinion, like Hector, and stuff like they, they play on pressure in a way where they farm so much and then they go, right? It's this type of style. And these heroes like Alchemist, the Wisp, and Chen, like a lot of pressure on you in order to do, the, like, if you do something wrong, you might lose the game. Uh, these things come out. We don't see that a lot of the times the whole year, and therefore we don't get really practice in it. So the best practice for TI is actually playing TI. Uh, yeah, and I mean, you know, you bring up a lot of the, the game elements like the Alchemist and things like that, and we see that, we hear the panel talk about that, but you also talk about the emotions, and I mean, you're relatively composed right now, but I want to know, kind of behind all that, when you were sitting in the seat, was anything going through your mind that made it harder to make the right calls at all, whether it is somebody actually being the first to, to win two TIs and the very real potential of that happening this time around? Uh, nah, the, these games were pretty quick in a way like uh, we were already making like a lot of mistakes individually and you know the whole team and we already made like a big flop on the first game of like actually misunderstanding what here was better so in that way like it was kind of a calm game even when we were losing it was kind of a calm game nobody was really like uh, mad or anything just nothing was really working out and in this match in particular just nothing was working out correctly therefore it was kind of like all right it's, it's very hard. We're, we're not really, we're prepared to not emotionally get mad at each other because what, what's the point? If it didn't go our way, then we failed. It's not, a, it's not to really blame anyone. I, 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 the, the clarity in which you kind of explained everything, it really shows just how well you are able to look at the game. And I thank you so much for the interview. We're going to go back to the desk.